Hi guys, and welcome to Undercover Scam Beta. I met this romance scammer, Henny Kevin, on Facebook. Watch how Henny does her best to manipulate me into sending her cash. But instead of sending her money, I stall, make her jump through hoops, and waste her time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did, wasting this scammer's time. Mike, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm very well. Your profile popped up my page and I decided to say hi to you. Hi. Just bored and lonely laying down in my bed tonight. Henny sent me this photo that she has stolen from a originally popular TikToker, Edith Reyes, who has almost 180,000 followers. She simply took a screenshot from one of Edith's videos. This is currently a common practice by scammers as Google reverse image searches using video screenshots produces significantly less results than a photograph stolen from a social media site. You look tired. Has it been a rough day? Oh yeah. Somehow. Send me your pic too. Wow, super cute. How old are you? I'm very old. Hell no, you look cool like a dude. How old do you think I am? I guess 53. Nope. 64. Oh my goodness, you must be kidding. You ain't look 64. You look like 50 plus. Are you married? Thanks, but I turned 64 in January. I will be 35 by 10th of February. I was married, but my wife died six months ago. Oh my good God. Sorry for the loss, okay? That's heartbroken. I lost my parents to road auto crash. It pains a lot. What was your job before you retired? Sorry to hear that. Were they drunk or on drugs? I can't figure out the cause of the accident. Probably he slept off wheels. Sleeping off the wheels is a horrible way to die. What was your job before you retired? I used to be a foot model and work with big brands like Nike. Wow, great job. I guess that would have given you a lot of money. Yep, but don't tell anybody, okay? What does your son want for his birthday? Maybe a dad? Maybe phone or bicycle. That's gonna cost a lot. I can figure out something that's attracting me looking at your pictures. You look calm like a gentleman. Oh, thank you so much for your kind words. You are like the virus in my computer, the pest in my veggie patch, and the hoe in my garden. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm blown because you swept me off my feet. I feel flattered, my king. I'm just wondering why your name is M-Y-K-E instead of M-I-K-E. My parents had a bike fetish and that's why they spelled it that way. My dad's name was Trike. My mom's name before she got married was Penny Farthing. Beautiful name. Is she still alive? No, they were both killed while I was cycling. WTF? Yeah, they were both hit and killed by the same ice cream truck that was driven by our neighbor. OMG! Drunk driving? My mum was best friend with the driver. His name is Ben Andy Jerry. My mum was so close to him that she had sleepovers at his house while I was growing up. OMG, like best friends killing each other. Ever since I died, it's been like experiencing an ice cream headache 24-7. I visit Ben a few times a year and we enjoy eating ice cream together and reminiscing about the good old days. Ben's still alive? Yeah, he married the sweetest lady named Gelato Fiasco. She was 35 years older than him and very rich. She was his sugar mummy. It's your son's birthday today. Yes. What did Morgan get for his birthday? My little baby still on my neck to get him a bicycle. Can you help, darling? I just want to make him happy. How much does a bicycle cost these days? $168 from Walmart. I'll buy the bike. Do you want it delivered or do you want to pick it up from Walmart? I can pick up from the Walmart. Which is the nearest Walmart to you? Bell's Ferry, you can get me the money via Cash App. I'll order it online and you can pick it up. Good news, I bought the bike. I sent Henny this fake receipt to prove I paid for the bicycle. I changed the Walmart slogan to, we love you when you have a full cart. The head office is located at 702 Made Up Street. Bell's Ferry Walmart is located at 419 Euroscammer Road. The collection instructions are, the collection desk is on the east-west side of the store. Head to the used sanitary pad aisle, turn right at the dildos, and proceed past the third hobbit house. Please quote the order number to the head of incompetence. I'm happy, darling, but unfortunately the bicycle is too high for him. I had to take him to Walmart and get the one that fits. Please get your money back. 
Good morning. Did you find another bike? After I took my son to check the bicycle at Walmart, we did, and got the idea of the bicycle's height. Then I got the Cash App details of the seller. Whose Cash App account is that? I can't figure out, but I guess it's a personal Cash App. Who told you to pay for the bike on Cash App? The question is becoming too much, darling. It's a staff Cash App that would make payment on proxy. It is not an accepted method of payment. Bike purchased. Thanks, darling. Please cancel the order because my son hasn't decided to accept this one yet. I asked you if you wanted the bike, and you said yes. Thanks for wasting my time. Sometimes in romantic relationships, your partner will ask for a gift for their child, even before you've met them. My advice is to make prompt payment via Cash App or Bitcoin, which will either go directly to them or most likely to their money meal. Doing this will reduce strain in your relationship and make both your partner and their son, who probably doesn't exist, happy. I hope you take these words of wisdom and don't make the mistake of purchasing a bike directly from Walmart like I did. Twice. Thank you for watching Undercover Scam Beta. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our new videos.